Cats. We are at a Playboy casting hall in Chicago with Crystal McCahill, who doesn't need to be cast because she was Miss May 2009. And her mom, as some of us recall, was Miss August 1968 as Gail Olson. And here we are. And you have the May issue of Playboy, is that what that is? I have the May 2011 issue, yes. And we're here only for sports purposes, I can guarantee you. <laughs> That's it. So, so we have the baseball preview in there. Yes. And it has the White Sox winning their division. And it doesn't have the Cubs winning theirs. What happened? So, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Um, <laughs> I've already gone to one Cubs game so far, the second day that they had um, opened. And they won. So okay. I don't know what they're talking about. I, I think you must be the good luck. <laughs> so next year, baseball preview, we should have you write it. That's right. I'm going to write. <laughs> and that would have the Cubs winning the World Series at least? <laughs> it's time. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think uh, the writer Tracy Ringlesby has Philadelphia winning the World Series, which is anybody can say, okay, they have, that's an easy call to make. Let's, let's be a little more creative to have the Cubs winning a World Series much more creative. I think so. The lovable losers. We don't want to be called that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think the magazine does say they've been losing so long that they're no longer lovable, but you still find them lovable? I do. I, I find them very lovable. I want to go to every game this year. <laughs> Just so they win. <laughs> so you're spending most of your time in Chicago or you're traveling around a lot? I'm traveling a lot. Um, I'm, I'm still out in LA. I live at the Bunny House and I come back to Chicago at least once a month. I still can't get, get away to, <laughs> too long. <laughs> um, I've been just traveling so much with Playboy and working with their events. It's random events, uh, different each time and Playboy golf a lot. We just had the finals in LA. How was that? It was so much fun. It's probably one of my favorite, most favorite party at the mansion. So you're not a golfer? Uh, a miniature golfer. A girl after my own heart. They always ask me to let it be in play by golf. I said as soon as they have the windmills, I'm in. But until then, forget it. That's exactly. Okay. And you were also out west for Hugh Hefner's 85th birthday party. What was that like? Yes, I flew on Saturday, which was his birthday, the 9th, and we did, it was so much fun because they flew like 30 of us playmates in for his birthday, and it was like a family reunion, it was all the girls were just having such a ball, they set up a huge table for us in the middle of Nobu at the Palms for dinner, and there's like... We're just causing this huge commotion because how often is it you see just this huge table of all women? They didn't. I don't think they knew that we were even playmates. And, and one lucky guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's a very smart man. It was a lot of fun. Um, we got to hang out at the Playboy Club and hang out at Moon on top of the Palms, and and then I flew back all day the next day. <laughs> oh, that's too much like work. <laughs> oh, it can't be all glamorous. <laughs> Speaking of glamour, on your neck we have. Oh yeah, we have my bunny necklace. But as I was telling Elliot, I have a baby bunny that I've had for about I don't know eight years, seven eight years, and I just I've never lost it, and it's so tiny, and I I don't know, so I just put my bunny necklace on this chain and I can't get rid of it now. <laughs> now let's see, if memory serves, you were in a Super Bowl ad? I was. I did a Super Bowl ad for Mini Cooper. It was kind of a, a cute, cheesy game show and I was playing like a Vanna White. <laughs> you could and do that. Thank you. And it was a lot of fun and I love doing commercials. I'd like to do more. Okay. So we should be looking for more of you. You're going to Hawaii, is that true? It's still up in the air, but yes, uh, it's very, very much going to be happening soon for the beginning of May, going back to Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii for about seven years, so I hope they pick me still. I, oh. I'm pretty sure that Playboy Golf is who I'd be going with, and um, AJ, I'm trying to smooge him <laughs> to get me to go. Be nice to him. But 
it, it looks okay. pretty good. <laughs> Let's see, Hawaii, Chicago. Hawaii. Well, let me think, the weather. <laughs> uh, they're, they're about the same. <laughs> Maybe a few good. degrees difference in the winter. Okay. So, last time we talked, it was at uh, the venue at Horseshoe when there was a big Playboy party and the Blackhawks had just won the Stanley Cup. I remember. And now the Blackhawks are in the postseason again. Any idea how the Hawks might do this time around? I don't know. They're awesome. I'm still a huge fan. And I, I have not gone to game yet this year, but I want to. And I really want to shoot the Okay, so if, so if any Hawks fans are out there listening. Let me shoot the first puck, and then we're going to take it all the way. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And continued success. Always a pleasure.